Nashville, Tennessee, country music capital of the world, home of the Grand Ole Opry, where singers and dreamers come seeking stardom. Join me as we learn about the lives and careers of those who built this town on classic country backstories. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Classic Country Backstories. I'm Colleen Gallagher. Now, today we're going to talk about Jack Anglin. Jack was one of the greatest harmony singers in traditional country music in his time and one of the famous members of Johnny and Jack. Jack was born on May 13, 1916, on a farm near Columbia, Tennessee. He was the youngest of 10 children. His father taught him how to play guitar when he was young. By age 14, he was singing and playing at local radio stations. In 1930, Jack moved to Nashville, Tennessee, hoping to be a country musician. Jack, along with his brothers Van and Jim, began performing as the Anglin Twins in Red. Once radio stations in the South began broadcasting their music, they changed their name to the Anglin Brothers. They would continue to work together as a trio until 1939. Jack met his wife, Louise, while working at a hosiery mill through her brother, Johnny Wright. At the time, Johnny's wife, Muriel, who we know now as Kitty Wells, and Louise were regular performers on WSIXAM as Johnny Wright and the Harmony Girls. Wright and Anglin first performed as a duo at a concert for victims of a Louisville-Nashville flood in 1939. They went under the name The Backwater Boys. Following the performance, the two decided to form their own duo, Johnny and Jack, for which they became famous. Johnny usually sang lead most of the time, while Jack sang great tenor harmony. They became famous for their sad lyrics and close harmony, along with their southern beats. Anglin played rhythm guitar and sometimes even surprised audiences by playing a gourd as a musical instrument on some of their tunes. Johnny was known as the one that handled the business. When not touring, Jack liked to spend time at home. According to Johnny and Kitty's son, Bobby Wright, Jack didn't think too much about the business end of things. Johnny Wright and Jack Anglin shared the birthday of May 13th. But Johnny was born in 1914, while Jack was born in 1916. When Jack married Louise, they became brothers-in-law. Jack and Louise had a son named Terry. Johnny and Jack signed a contract with RCA Victor Records and recorded with them for the next 11 years. They later went on to sign with Decca Records. Early in their partnership, Johnny and Jack toured mostly in the state of Tennessee, until 1940, when they decided to hit the road. To pay for travel expenses, Johnny sold his carpentry tools to pay for gas. Ironically, the duo broke up following a dispute over gas money. Anglin returned to Nashville and began performing on the Grand Ole Opry as a member of Roy Acuff's Smoky Mountain Boys. Jack was with the band just over six months when World War II broke out. He enlisted in the U.S. Army. He spent four years in Europe working as an orderly for the medical course. Upon Jack's return from the Army, Johnny and Jack began performing again. Kitty Wells, along with Johnny and Jack, traveled as a package show together. They founded the Louisiana Hayride Barn Show in 1947. After years of hard work, Johnny and Jack were invited to be permanent members of WSM's Grand Ole Opry in 1952. According to nephew Bobby Wright, son of Kitty Wells and Johnny Wright, Jack was a big man with a great personality. He was fun-loving, a great MC, and one of the best tenor singers you'll ever hear in country music. He was a great straight man to Johnny and his comedic personality. He was also known to be meticulous, without a hair out of place. He loved reading westerns and loved boxing. Eddie Stubbs referred to Johnny and Jack as the Brooks and Dunn of their time. Johnny and Jack performed more than 3,000 times in five countries, traveling 100,000 miles per year and writing over 100 songs. Just some of their hits included Poison Love, Crying Heart Blues, Ashes of Love, and Hummingbird. Jack Anglin and his wife made their home in Madison, Tennessee. 
It was a three-bedroom home with a fireplace and nearly an acre of land. Patsy Klein once lived about a block away from them. On March 5, 1963, the country music industry suffered a terrible loss. A plane crash carrying Hawkshaw Hawkins, Cowboy Copas, Patsy Klein, and Randy Hughes. On the morning of March 7th, Jack attended the joint memorial service for Cowboy Copas and Randy Hughes. Then around four, as reported by his barber, Neil Langford, in the March 8, 1963 edition of the Tennessean, Jack went to Hessen's Barbershop around 4 p.m. After getting his hair cut, he got in his car, running late, and sped off toward Phillips Robinson Funeral Home, where there was a 5 p.m. prayer service to be held for Patsy Cline. Jack was going at a high rate of speed when he came to a curve he could not navigate and lost control of his car on a turn on New Due West Avenue in Nashville, diving into a 12-foot embankment and crashing into a tree. There was no one else in the vehicle, and apparently Jack died upon impact. Jack Anglin was only 46 years old. Johnny Wright was at the Phillips Robinson Funeral Home when he got the news of Jack's death. He left the funeral home crying uncontrollably. He had lost his partner and his brother-in-law. Jack Anglin's funeral was held at the Madison Funeral Home on March 8th at 3 p.m., at the same time, Hawkshaw Hawkins' funeral service was happening 12 minutes away at the Phillips Robinson Funeral Home. Jack Anglin was laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Gardens in Goodlettsville, Tennessee, where Cowboy Copas, Hawkshaw Hawkins, Randy Hughes, and Stringbean Aikman would also be buried. His wife Louise passed January 12, 1983, and was buried by his side. In recent years, two of Jack Anglin's songs were used as soundtracks for The Marty Stewart Show and God's Bloody Acre. Sadly, the deaths of Patsy Cline, Hawkshaw Hawkins, and Cowboy Copas overshadowed the news of Jack Anglin's passing. He deserves to be remembered as a grand old Opry legend and a co-founder of the Louisiana Hayride. If you have never heard of Johnny and Jack, please take time to find some of their music. I guarantee you'll enjoy it. If you've enjoyed today's vlog, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications of upcoming episodes. Until next time, God bless, take care, and I'll see you later.